Hello, everyone, and welcome to this 32nd episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. I am Isaac Sokolik, or NY Ike, on Twitter. And in this episode, we're going to explore the role of the chief data officer. Now, maybe you're a CDO, or maybe you report to one, maybe your organization has one, or maybe your organization needs one. It's a role that needs to collaborate with other executives and leaders in the organization. And today we're gonna to talk about the key roles and responsibilities of the CDO and the chief data officer's functions that are most common across enterprises. Let's get started. So when we talk about the role of the CDL, let's first look at the entire data ecosystem from where we source data that's both internal data sources and external ones that we use to enrich and improve the quality of our data. We are also thinking about the data operations, how we integrate data sources from SaaS, from third parties, and how we bring them into our data management layers or management layers, including SQL, NoSQL databases, and all the processes that we use to store and manage data once it's ready to make it consumable. We then also talk about governance, which gets into the security, privacy policies around data, as well as aspects of creating master data sources and improving data quality. And then of course, the consumption layer, data science, analytics, artificial intelligence, and applications. Now underneath these five primary areas is a whole bunch of other responsibilities from partnerships to data quality to security that we talked about, which algorithms are in use and are being improved on, how we think about APIs, and whether or not you're thinking about using data as part of your business model. So a lot of different functions. And when you look at the organizational responsibilities and opportunities top down, we often think about the key C-suite leaders that are responsible for both the responsibilities around data, but also the opportunities around data. When you bring those two together, these are aspects of becoming a data-driven organization. And yes, the CEO has a role in changing the culture. The CFO has a role in helping set priorities in terms of what KPIs to look at. The CIO has responsibilities around the delivery and management of data. Um, often a CISO working with this group in terms of security. And then we, of course, we have the CMO in terms of looking at customers and products and prospects and managing a pipeline around this. Now, depending on your organization, you're also going to have a number of other C-suite or C-level responsibilities there, starting with the chief operating officer, going all the way down to the chief security officer, and a number of, op of responsibilities in between. And somewhere in here is the responsibilities of the chief data officer. So you can understand looking at all these C's and all these functional areas around data and everybody is consuming data, everybody is producing data, therefore everybody is responsible for data. And so you could see why it may be complex to really pin down what areas of responsibility and accountability the CDO has, but I'm gonna do that for you in the next slide. So let's go there and look at what are the two common areas that CDOs are responsible responsible for and what are their primary skills to accomplish those roles. So let's look at the common responsibilities of a CDO across organizations. And I label that as proactive data governance, which includes both data governance functions as well as getting into data operations and using them to a strategic advantage. I do have some posts and a white paper around proactive data governance, but in a nutshell, what it's doing is using agile processes to bring data governance, data operations, and data scientists together on collaborative agile teams to, and operating toward business goals. You can see some of the responsibilities here that I think are really important to call out from security to developing data catalogs, to setting policies and defining data dictionaries. Those are the data governance functions. And then when I think about data operations, I think about data quality. I think about the reliability of bringing in data sources. I think about creating master data sources that everybody in the organization can use use in their analytics. Now, when I start thinking about the skill sets of the CDO and teammates of the CDO, I really think about the following nine as being really important. 
of these nine some of them are ones that i think are really important for anybody in a transformational role things like being collaborative and agile being technical and operational in nature being business savvy to know where to apply technology to a strategic advantage but when i think about the cdo role in particularly there are three that come to my mind first this person really needs to be knowledgeable about the data itself in the organization, knowledgeable about third party data sources and whether to procure or source them, and knowledgeable about regulations and security and privacy factors so that the organization can be safe in its use of data. So, highly knowledgeable person. Second is someone who's inquisitive. This is both a role for the CDO as well as for someone leading data science. You really want somebody asking questions all the time and challenging the status quo and being able to work with their peers to go from maybe in an organization that wasn't used to being data driven to one that's using data very proactively in decision making. And then last and not, probably not least is someone who knows how to convert data into stories, someone who knows how to convert business needs and technical and operational needs into investment. And that requires having conversations with the board, with the C-suite, and being able to tell a story that's business impacting and that people can understand. So those are three skills that I would call out as clearly important for the CDO role. Now, if you join my newsletter, which I hope you do with the URL above, you'll get more information about digital transformation, data analytics, data science, artificial intelligence. These are just some of the topics that I cover in my writing that I share in my newsletter once every month. And then I hope that you will subscribe to the channel today. Thank you for joining Five Minutes with NY Ike. Again, I'm Isaac Sokolik. And I hope to see you again in our next episode. Have a great day.